screen because the screen is more high resolution. On the new note, you're gonna see that the display resolution is 2560 by 1600 pixels, which is the same resolution as that on the Nexus 10 from Google, which Samsung also makes. So compare the two, you're gonna see that uh, images and text on the new note, which I have here on the top or on the bottom of the screen, is gonna be a lot more crisp than on the old note, which I have here um, on the top of the screen or uh, underneath the new note. So that's the first major improvement on the new note. Also, when you're comparing both devices, you're gonna see that the new Note actually is smaller in footprint, despite packing in more power, including a higher resolution display. So you're gonna see that when you're holding both devices in landscape orientation, that the new Note is more narrow in the width, um, shorter in the height, and also it's gonna be a little bit more slim when you're taking a look at it um, from its side profile. Samsung has done a great job to make the new Note one of the slimmest full-size tablets on the market right now. So it's both slim and light. So it's actually a bantamweight competitor in a heavyweight um, category of tablets, of uh, full-size tablets. The new Note does have um, sharper, more angled uh, lines, as you can see here, with subtly rounded corners, so it doesn't have some of the more fluid um, curves that are apparent on the older Note. Like the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, when you're taking a look at the side profile and this band that goes around the side, the band is actually plastic but is made to look like stainless steel or aluminum. So um, it does give it a more premium look and feel to the tablet. And like the Note 3, um, the band does have striations or grooves going around it so it makes it kind of more comfortable and grippy to hold on to. On the rear of the tablet, you're gonna have the same design that was introduced earlier this year, or earlier with the Note 3 that we recently reviewed. You're gonna have a faux leather backing with a faux uh, stitching that goes around the edges. So this adds to the luxury feel of the Note tablet when you're holding it in your hands. On the back, you have an eight megapixel camera with a single LED flash that can also record 1080p video. So it's actually the same camera that's on the Galaxy S3, which is last year's flagship smartphone. On the front, you do have an HD uh, front-facing camera for video chatting. So this is good for uh, talking to your friends uh, using video on Google Chat or another video chatting application. It's a two megapixel camera on the front. And like other devices in the Note family from Samsung, you do have the S Pen, and this is the new S Pen this year. It does have the, um, the S button or the side button on the S Pen, which allows you to click and have additional functionality. New to the S Pen this year and new to the Note 10.1 2014 edition is this new uh, Air Command menu, which activates when you pull out the the pen from its um, socket. So there are now five additional features to the S Pen right on top of this UI that we're gonna go ahead and cover in the second uh, video of this review series for the Note 10.1 2014 edition. Also this device, unlike the Note 10 point, or unlike the Note 3 in the US, this device actually runs on Samsung's uh, octa-core processor. So it's an eight core Exynos 5 processor. It's not a true octa-core in that only four co cores are active at any given time. So if you're in a high performance app or if you're playing a graphics intense game, um, the four full power cores will activate on to give you the extra processing and graphics power that your um, task requires. And if you're not using the tablet for any intensive task, then the uh, four lower powered cores kick in to help conserve battery life. I've used the Note 10.1 for uh, roughly almost a week now, and this new tablet actually lasts between um, seven and 10 hours on a single charge, depending on what you're doing um, at the time. So if you're using the cameras heavily, if you're connecting to the internet and streaming videos more, then you're gonna get less battery life, but it's um, a solid performer with a great battery life, uh, given that it does have a high resolution screen, plenty of horsepower under the hood, um, three gigs of RAM, and a very slim and elegant lightweight design. 
Like the other devices in the Note series, you're gonna also have the S Note application, which will give you a tool to write, draw, and doodle, so you can use the S Pen. It's a pe uh, pressure sensitive pen, so you can go ahead and um, write. If you write lightly, you're gonna get a thinner pen or brush stroke, and if you press in harder, you're gonna get a, a darker or richer uh, pen stroke. You can also, um, convert your handwriting into text. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that. And then I can always convert that into type text. Unfortunately, it didn't read my handwriting too well there, but um, it did get the Be Mobile right. Samsung has also included a number of value-added applications with the Note 10.1 uh, 2014 edition. One of them is Bloomberg Business Week, which gives you access. Um, it's actually a digital magazine, so it gives you access to similar content that's on the printed edition of the Bloomberg Business Week magazine. Um, this is the digital edition, which comes with enhanced features such as videos um, that's not present if you're a print subscriber, obviously. So you do have a year subscription to Bloomberg. If you register the tablet, you're gonna have extra goodies, including a year subscription to uh, wireless hotspots. Um, globally, when you're traveling, you're gonna also have uh, access, a time-limited edition access to the New York Times, and you're gonna also have um, access to a number of other subscriptions, including 50 uh, gigabytes of storage through Dropbox as well. Um, so th those are just some of the extra niceties that Samsung has added to the value of the Galaxy Note 10.1. The device actually starts um, at 16 gigabytes of onboard storage for $550. So it's priced $50 more expensive than the iPad at base uh, retail. However, you do have a number of value added features that enhance the value of this tablet. The device has three gigabytes of RAM, so you're gonna have access to Samsung's um, award-winning uh, simultaneous multitasking feature through the multi-window where you can run two applications um, simultaneously side by side. So here, um, we're gonna go ahead and try and run two applications. And in addition, you can even run additional applications on top of these um, by using the air command menu and then drawing the pen window. So this allows you to create floating windows on top. So I just moved the browser out. Let's go ahead and go and launch. So I have fi a file browser here Kayak, which is an application, and have the browser running on top, floating on top of the Galaxy Note 10.1 here. And you can have multiple floating windows on top of the display as well by drawing additional pen windows using um, the S Pen and the Air Command menu. So this is a quick look around the hardware of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile. Please join me in the next video review where we're gonna talk more about the software of the Galaxy Note tablet in greater detail. 